In this video, we'll take a look at a Golden board with a magic bowl sorting box twist. The bowl will fill up with just over 2,000 dynamically created spheres of seemingly random colors deposited out of these eight chutes. When there are no spheres within the upper part of the chute, Python code creates a new set of spheres dynamically to begin falling down the chute. Because the spheres are created dynamically over time, there is no blender or baking of this physics simulation to play back to consistently have the balls track to specific slots at the bottom of the magic sorting box. When just over 2,000 spheres have been created and settled into the bowl, the bottom of the bowl opens and empties into the magic bowl sorting box. Here are the results followed by how this was done with a workaround to the blender baking of the simulation. I hope that was somewhat satisfying to watch. To achieve this effect and to get around not being able to pre-bake the entire animation because the spheres were dynamically created throughout the first part of the video, all sphere locations were recorded to an external text file using Python code to be used in place of a bake for the simulation. As balls fell within the, a specific bin, new balls would be created. And as they were created, their entries will be written out to that external cache text file with a C in the line number next to the frame number and the X, Y, and Z coordinates of those new spheres. For any spheres created prior to the frame that we were on, they would be moved based on the physics engine and captured back into this cache file as well using an M instead of a C to indicate that this entry meant we're moving an existing sphere and not creating a new one. So the combination of the creates and the moves within this external cache text file would allow us to play back the simulation with precision to repeat it. The one last trick that we had to do was to cover the assignment of colors. So what happens is at the end of the simulation, when all the balls have settled down in the remaining slots, the system will go through all the balls that were created, find out what slot they ended up ending in, and then if you're in slot, if first slot, you're assigned the first color, you're in the second slot, your second color, and so on, through the colors of the rainbow, with one last one being the reflective pinball color. And then this additional text file of the color file with the cache file that was created above would then give the directions to the playback to allow the colors of the balls as they're created out of the initial bins to be assigned seemingly random, but really knowing that they're gonna land in their specific spots. 
the cache file ended up just over 550 megabytes in its text format with no optimizations for eliminating recordings from objects that didn't move from frame to frame or changing the format to a binary format, etc. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please consider liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching.